All right, so someone just pointed out to me that I uh, forgot to do the things on the back of the retirement, so the things on the back of the car character mat. So for Bone Shaper and Drifter, both of them, you just add a thing to the calendar. Um, Drifter, it's four weeks after he retires, and on Bone Shaper, it is six weeks after they retire. I think I retired two scenarios later, which means that for both of them, their thing would be right here. Um, oh, so let me get the actual code to write. 89.3 and 138.1. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what Bone Shapers is. Drifters, I'm not sure. Was it 139 or 138? 138, okay. Alright, so that takes care of that. Um, We'll have those in a couple weeks to look forward to. Banner, Spear, Snow Dancer. Okay, everybody looks like they are ready. Let's get the levels reset. And I think I know where I want to go. We're going to play... Um, I've hinted at it a couple times. We're going to go to Clistral Enclosure here. Um, this is like a... It's a I, I really like this scenario. I think this is a good one. Um... It's a sled mission, which will progress our Jiminet uh, retirement goal. Um, so we got one already because the last scenario we played required climbing gear. Um, so this will be two if we um, if we beat it. Um, and I did see right as I was scrolling away that I spelled required wrong, but... I'm, I'm fighting my OCD very hard to go back and, and fix it. <laughs> All right, so um, I do really like this scenario. It's a very interesting one. Basically, these pillars are destroyable. They have nine health. Um, they are allies to the monsters, so they just ignore them. They have nine health, and they grant one shield to any monster within, I believe it's four range. You can double check that. Um, so nine health, and then, yeah, they grant one shield to anyone within four range, any enemy within four range. The doors are locked, so we have to kill everything in this first room. Enemy, or scenario is complete when all enemies are dead, and we have to discard a card on everybody. Um, let's see, I think the banner of strength could be pretty good here. Um, just because this is a really short scenario, and, um... You know, if everything has tons of shield, then I will need tons of damage to get through those shields. So I think Banner of Strength will be good. Unbreakable Wall is probably not that useful. Um, ooh, actually, though, I'm probably going to be playing... Um, probably going to be playing Hazardous Terrain on Snowflake. Um, so maybe Let Them Come is not that necessary. Um, I'll have poison from from Hornet Stinger, which is going to be one of Geminate's best one of Geminate's best options. So let's drop Let Them Come for now, and I think I do want to bring Rally and Cry. I would kind of like to bring Combined Effort just to have another access to Wound, but Meat Grinder is already so good that maybe I don't need it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can bring one more card. Let's bring the Unbreakable Wall. Um. Geminate here is the one who's going to struggle. Icebound Quills will be good, but that's just like a one-time thing. Um, Horn Beetle Carapace will be good. Hornet Stinger will be good. Drag Down will be good to keep guards away from me. Reckless Jab is good to buy a turn with Disarm. So if I can just like wound something and then disarm it and then immobilize it with Drag Down. Changeling's Boon here is kind of useless. So I can drop that. Because two attacks for two is, is never doing anything. The bless is okay, but... I mean, a burn a card for a single bless. Draining pincers I don't need, but having a move switch forms is really good. So melee cards to sub out. I could get this bottom, all enemies suffer one. That's pretty decent. Or wound all enemies within range two. Let's do the... The, the, the wound. Or the uh, enemies suffer. And I don't think these range cards are really going to do very much. Snowflake. Now, I want to try Blizzard for this bottom, the move and push. Um, so I think I'm going to undo the Fox. The Fox won't do anything here. His attack, too, will never be helpful. And Wind, I don't think really helps for anything here. Only, like, White Winds 
it's an enticing breeze, but plus two damage into the shield is, is going to do nothing. I want to try Chilling Impact um, for this loss. Um, at the start of your turn, consume ice. If you do, at the end of any forced movement ability, all enemies moved will suffer one. Um, so that's kind of cool. It seems a little bit hard to set up. I mean, it'll be it'll pair really well with like the bottom of Enticing Breeze to make like four different enemies suffer one. But like 20 health Algox suffering one damage isn't going to help that much. Um, and then I don't think... I don't really need these other cards. I don't need the big push for anything. Um, even though I do love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. Let's take out this, I think. Because um, it's just it's just a small attack. And it consumes ice. If I'm playing Chilling Impact, I don't really want to consume my ice. Um, I will be right back. All right. So I think I just got the cards finalized that I'm bringing. Um, so let's go ahead and pick a card to lose on each character as a scenario effect. So I'm thinking Blinding Vortex here in the beginning. I don't see myself needing anything anything that that card has to offer. Um, on Geminate, um, maybe this Suffer 1. This Suffer 1 pairs pretty well with Hornet Stinger. Um, if I can, like, be surrounded by three monsters. Let's just draw Firefly Swarm. I don't see myself needing that. And then onto Banner. Maybe the Shield? I, I don't... I think dropping the Shield would be okay. The only nice thing about keeping it would be underspeeding the, the 8 and 9 out of the Priests. I can still do that with my 6, but I might want to do it more than once. I don't know. Um, I don't see any reason to do anything other than start with basically the same thing I did previously. Start in a formation like this, play Javelin to move one, pull in, and Boldening Blow. I mean, that just feels like a very, very, very good start. Um, oh, uh, we need a, uh, we need a road event. And did I do battle goals? No, I haven't done battle goals. So road event and battle goals, and then cards for the round. Um, A. Okay, yeah, I was right. A is the right answer, but I don't think I'm intimidating. Camera, what are you doing? No. Nobody's intimidating, so we have to read B instead. And we start Brittled and Cursed. Not my favorite, um, but that's okay. What was that? All right, let's look at Snowflake first. Five or more cards at the end. Kill an enemy before its first turn. Never enter an, a hex occupied by an ally, enemy, or obstacle. These are not very good. I guess I'll go for pedestrian, never walk through an ally or jump over an enemy. Because five cards, I don't know, this is a kind of difficult scenario and assassin just can't happen. Um, on gem, kill five or more enemies. There are barely even five monsters in this scenario. Remove a negative condition for yourself. Um... Yeah, that should be really easy, because I can just... I can poison wound myself and then remove it with an amulet of life. Now, it says remove a, condi a condition two or more times. I I don't... I think I will have to do it twice, rather than just removing two conditions at the same time. Because um, it does say times with an S. But, I mean, either way, that's really, really easy to do when I can give myself conditions. Um, two actions with loss in the same turn. Banner Spear doesn't have a loss top. Fewer loot tokens than anybody else kill something with disadvantage. Um, fewer loot tokens. Although we want to pick up the uh, Axe Nut that's in this level. Um, it's Axe Nut and Arrow Vine are the herbs available here. And Banner needs Axe Nut to retire. And as much as I love playing Banner Spear, it would be nice to 
go ahead and get her retired and have everybody retire. Also, the building she unlocks is really good. Um, so we want to make hazardous terrain here, um, but that's really slow. We want Banner to pull into the hazardous terrain. Um, so we can go at 21 or faster. So let's just play this 21. Uh, we can remove one of those um, brittles. And then either ranged or melee. Um, disarming something is good. If I pull here and I go for a drag down, I can... Oh, but uh, Banner's going to be standing there. I could just Hornet Stinger. Yeah, let's just go after and go in and Hornet Stinger um, in melee. And that'll already transform. So maybe just like Horn Beetle Carapace is fine. And then I want Geminate to go last. So I think that's a good start. We've got healing coming out of the priests, which is a little annoying because I'm disarming this turn. Um, oh, but I guess that means that I can target the guard instead. I was thinking I would target the priest, but let's target the guard. Um, ooh, but one benefit of doing the Priest is this way I hit everybody with the Hornet Stinger on Geminate, so let's do the Priest. Um, but I believe Snowflake is first. Um, 21 and 70 and 21 and 72. So Snowflake is first. Um, so let's make a Hazardous Terrain right here. Um, I don't get to strengthen anybody, but that's fine. Make a hazardous terrain right here, and then um, then I can just remove a brittle. So let's remove it from Geminate, because Geminate's going to go in there with wide out bottom, just a, a range one heal. So that'll be fine. Um, Banner Spear will step one and then pull with Javelin, and then I can do Boldening Blow. So bless both of my allies and just attack for four and it'll deal no damage and it'll disarm um and then i can have geminate go next so geminate will move forward two and attack with hornet stinger like this oh no i can attack like this yeah 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 i can attack in this pattern and that way i don't even hit the banner spear so it's just attacks for one it's like never dealing any damage left guard top. Yeah, I don't think any of them took any damage from that. Even with the Pierce 3. Oh, I guess with Pierce 3, this guy would take 1, right? Because it, it's attack for 1 with Pierce 3, so he would take 1. With the priest, th this priest would take 1 as well, because I drew a plus 1 on him. And then they all get poisoned. So, decent turn. Decent turn with my attack 1. Um... And then now these guys just stand here, and they will heal off this poison, and then they will heal for three. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was thinking about disarming the guard instead of the priest, but I didn't do that. So now he attacks the Geminate, who will take five. Okay, um... That's... Okay, I should have targeted the guard. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh, this is fine. I do switch into range form. And so, in range form, I can push is pretty good. So maybe I step back and I push this guy off, and then I can pull him back in. I like that. It'll go at 23 speed, step back, push, and then... Um, it would be even better if there would be a way for me to push this guy. I guess if I played Birds in a Tempest, I could jump over here and push this guy out, and then I could pull him back. I like that a lot. Um, so let's play Birds in a Tempest. And then what else can I do? I can... I would love to do something with this Hazardous Terrain tile. So let's let's lifting gust 
and I can push this priest right here, and then when Geminate jumps over, I can push the priest one, push the guard for two, and attack the guard for two, and deal like nine damage with that hazardous tile, right? I like that. And these initiatives work perfect. Um, 18 and then 23. And both of these characters have boots of speed. So if I get like the uh, get like the 15 out of the guards, I can underspeed them. And so then finally, what am I doing? Ooh, okay. Let's just run down here and meat grinder, right? So let's just go faster than everything, run down and meat grinder. Perfect. Heal again. Um, but this guard will probably have taken the most damage, maybe, hopefully. And so then the heal will go, at least one of the heals will go into the poison. Maybe I can kill this priest. Um, everybody is faster than them, which is nice. And I don't need to use any boots of speed, which is also nice. So Banner Spear will run down here. I do need to consider using my health potion to just remove this brittle which is really unfortunate um, because attack six is coming in and I can block three of them. Ooh. Okay, first let's see how much damage we do and then figure it out later. So it's going to be attack for four into both. Let's heavy sword into the priest because I would love to kill this priest. So heavy sword in the priest and we'll eagle eye goggles. So priest first, it's like an attack for one. Oh, and I draw the disarm. So he takes two and a wound, but he wasn't attacking this turn anyway, so the disarm is useless. And then because of the poison and three shield, my attack for four is like an attack for two. Okay, so it's attack for five because of the poison crits for ten, which will then deal seven. So 21 down to 14. Um just pretty good oh i forgot about geminate standing right here so i can't push the priest there to be pushed by geminate so i'm not going to get the damage out that i was hoping for but guard did take the most damage um i think i am going to go ahead and health potion banner and that will finish the banner spear so now Snow Dancer will birds birds in a tempest. Um so I can move three. Can I move three to put the lifting gusts anywhere useful? I need Geminate to be right here. Which means the only way to push this priest through here is going to be with that. So I will not be able to push the priest through off of a shove with lifting gusts. Maybe that means I should target differently. Maybe I should target the guard. Um, or what I could do is I have a move three. So why don't I go right here? And I can shove the guard to here. That's what I'll do. So my move three, I'll go right here. Attack the guard at disadvantage with lifting gusts. This is player four. And it misses. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, no, this is fine like this. And then I'll just push him two. And he'll suffer three from the hazardous terrain. And that finishes Snowflake. And so now I will move two on Geminate. Um, because of the extra move from Birds in a Tempest. Now I can push at range two to push this guy two... All right, he just suffers three. And then I will attack him at range four with Into My Embrace. So attack for three, four because of the poison, but minus one. He takes no damage, but I can pull him two. And pull him right here. He suffers three, and then I'll just pull him right here. And he'll go after Banner Spear, because Banner Spear was fastest. Um... He won't go after Banner Spear because this priest will go right here, and then he would go after Geminate. Uh, it's a little bit late, but I'm going to use the weighted net on him. I've got the weighted net, so like I need to get uses out of it, right? I was thinking about doing it on Snow Dancer, but now that I see where the priests are going, 
um, I definitely need it like this. He also is wounded, but that's not going to matter because I, I hit him with the meat grinder this turn to wound him, but the priests are just going to heal it off. And so that finishes Geminate. Now it's the priests. So this guy first will suffer, and then he will heal, and then this guy will step here and heal. And then he is immobilized, and so he will just strengthen. And we are in there. Um, I mean, <laughs> this is a decent let them come. I mean, I guess if I have Snow Dancer here and break Boner Banner Spear there, but that's such a low damage card. Oh, I didn't even bring let them come, which is fine. I definitely don't need that. Um, I could Unbreakable Wall to push this guy off of the hazardous terrain. Um... And then I could pull him back in with Snow Dancer. Let's see. I feel like I should, could have something decent here. Um, can I get anything out of Chilling Impact? Do I want to Unbreakable Wall to push this guy here? I've got, I've got Enticing Breeze with Blizzard. So I could, like, move to push off and then pull back. Um, there's got to be a way to get more damage out than that, though. Let's look at somebody else first. I probably should have... Um, I should have stamina potioned back my push card on Geminate, I think. Geminate does switch to melee form... So I think I like drag down here to stop this guard from doing anything. So let's just go fast and drag down. And then I guess even if he gets his range card, I can just move to the corner here and I'll be out of range. I like that on Geminate. Um, I would love to get a wound back on this guy. They've just healed so much. Maybe if Snow Dancer moves back, then Banner Spear could go here and tip of the spear. That looks pretty decent. So... What initiative could I make this work? I could go at 11 and just step back. And then with my top. There's not really anything super amazing to do with the top. I would much rather play one of these bottom pushes. Um, yeah, just standing, standing still where I am and pushing this guy with Blizzard feels a little bit better um if i push him here then i would need to like move here to get a tip of the spear formation hmm i'm definitely not loving my options here Okay, let's go really fast and unbreakable wall. Oh, whoops. Really fast and unbreakable wall to push this guy away. And then I will pull him back in with enticing breeze. And then I'll push the other guy forward with chilling impact. Um, Eight speed. Okay, I can't counteract this in any way. The guard's already standing still, which is actually kind of really nice. Because that means that now I can... Um, I can immobilize him for the next turn. So I love that for myself. Um, so this guy will suffer from his wound and back up. And this guy will just back up. And they'll both hit Banner Spear for three. So I take one damage. And I get immobilized. Oh, the immobilize is annoying. Now I can't walk forward an unbreakable wall. So I guess Banner Spear just passes. Because there's like literally nothing I can do. Um, with Unbreakable Wall in any way. Okay, that's alright. It's not the end of the world. Then Geminate goes, and I guess I'll hit these guys with a drag down. Um, just the way they're standing right now. So, into the guard. That doesn't do anything. And into the priest, that doesn't do anything. But they're both immobilized, at least. So, this guy immobilized. This guy immobilized. Oh, I'm faster than him. So, no, he won't be immobilized next turn. 
so I didn't do anything at all at all. Um, it will switch me to ranged form though, so let's go ahead and stamina potion back my push card, although maybe I should save this for the second room, because I don't think I'm really in any danger here. And then I don't think I need to play a bottom at all. Um, I'm already standing in like a pretty good spot. I can push all of these guys, so I can like push one, push two. Um, or well, I'm probably gonna pull forward with Snow Dancer, but it should still be fine. And then now on Snow Dancer, enticing breeze. I can only pull one guy in with it. Chilling impact is just move two. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get exactly what I want out of it, but it's okay. Let's attack this priest with Enticing Breeze. Yeah. Uh, it's just attack for one. Oh, I have the wind. So it's attack for three plus one is four. Ah, so he takes nothing because he's not poisoned. But he does get pulled in and suffer three. And then I will step right here and I can push all adjacents. And so I'll just push him right back off. And then now next turn, Geminate will push here, push here, and that will kill this guy as soon as his turn starts. So Snowflake is in a dangerous spot, so just go fast and back up, I think. Um, Locust Host with... I'll push them away, and then I guess I can hit two with Smoldering Hatred. It could do something. Um, I still don't have a tip of the spear. Maybe I'll just regroup tip of the spear. Um, and we'll see exactly how things are lined up when that point comes. Beautiful, beautiful. So Snowflake first. Move three, push two. Do I have anything good with a move three? I don't think I do. Because um, I don't have jump shoes, so I can't like get here and push this guy. Move three and push. That just does nothing for me. Move one, two, three and push this guy in, but there's no point in taking that kind of damage. Um, so maybe I'm just actually doing nothing. Um, let's attack for two into this guy. But then even a, a plus two would deal one damage. A crit would do... Oh, okay. A plus two does one damage. And then I'll just back off. If I back off to here and I push two, push two, I could tip of the spear. It's not nothing. Um, so now Geminate goes and we'll push this guy and push this guy. And then attack at its four or five range. Yeah, so I don't need to hit this guy. He'll die to the wound. So I will just muddle myself. Oh, this priest is going to hit the snowflake. Dang, I could have just healed myself rather than moving with the bottom. Um, because I had regroup to move. Oh, but I can move. I can attack and then use regroup to move snowflake out of the way. But then that'll make Geminate take the hit. It's attack for four. Oh. Oh, with my bottom, I can go here. And then Banner Spear will take the hit. Nice. Okay. So I got that figured out. Um, okay. I'm muddling myself on Geminate to attack for four. And it will deal one. Um, which is actually probably a useful point of damage. Now, Banner Spear will just go for a tip of the spear, pierce all of the shield, so a plus one will kill. No. <laughs> That's from the stupid road event. Ugh. All right. Um, and then I think I go here. But if I go here, then the attack six goes into Snow Dancer. Dang. All right, I guess I command Snow Dancer to go away. Let's see, attack for four, if it deals five damage, it will kill. Whereas attack for four, if it does four damage, it will kill. So I guess I'll just stay exactly like this. Unfortunate. This guy will back off. 
Um, I can make him go right here instead. Attack the banner. 12 damage. Honestly, I don't think it's the end of the world. I think I can be fine with that. And then dies, and then attack for four at disadvantage. And it'll deal eight. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, did I switch? No, I'm still in range form. So this went from going really well to being very, very sketchy. Um, maybe I just want to give a selfless offering. Um, I could also just attack at range with Mind Spike. Harvest the Essence, do Essence doesn't really do anything for me. I switch into melee, and then next turn I can... Um, I can disarm. Um, crosswinds and Snowball, as long as... If I, I need to deal one damage with Geminate... Which is never going to happen, right? It's an attack for two into shield three with Muddle. So it would have to pull plus two crit. But if I dealt one damage, then pulling with the bottom of Crosswinds would kill this guy. Um, so maybe instead, Geminate will just walk forward and heal with Selfless Offering. Or I could deal one damage with Mind Spike. That's what I'll do. I'll back up and I'll deal one damage with Mind Spike, and then he'll die to the pull. And then that'll switch me to melee. Okay. Happy enough with that. Not happy with this. Um, okay. So attack for two, it sees Geminate as primary focus, and then I can pick the secondary, so Banner Spear. So Geminate first. Um, do I have one more tick of armor? Looks like I do. So I take no damage. I actually would have rather that armor not go off, so even if I had forgotten to use a charge of it, it was for the worse. And now into Banner Spear, it was definitely for the worse. Banner Spear takes three and gets a curse, which I definitely don't want to see. Um, now Snowflake will pull this guy in, and he suffers three um, with the bottom of Crosswinds. And then I can move. I don't know if that helps me in any way. Um, let's just move down here and heal to regenerate Banner Spear, I think. And then now, one, two, three. So I need to go here, one, two, to be four range away to use Mind Spike. And then this guy gets immobilized and then suffers one and dies. And then I switch into melee form um, with the bottom of Selfless Offering was my, my move. So not amazing. Definitely not amazing shape here, but it could be worse. Um, I probably should have played Rally and Cry Bottom at some point on this rest cycle. I think I'll drop Unbreakable Wall. Um, so now I'm just... I'm long resting... On Snowflake. Geminate's just going to walk up and immobilize. Um... See, here, like, combined effort would be really nice to move forward and move the Banner Spear forward and get a tip of the spear. If I can't do that, I guess I can move two and I can disarm with Rallying Cry. So let's go, let's try to go after the monster and do that. Um, oh, another option is to Javelin to pull through the hazardous terrain. I think I like that more. So let's go after... Geminate and do that. Still not amazing. Okay, all he's doing is healing and he'll go towards Geminate because Geminate's faster. Which kind of really sucks. 
then I will poison wound myself. Heal them off with my Amulet of Life, which will get one thing towards my Optimist. Um, and then just attack for four. And it will deal one. And it will disarm. So he's disarmed for next turn, which is decent. It's actually quite good, I would say. Then I guess I'll just pull in with the bottom of Javelin on Banner Spear. And um, why did I play Tip of the Spear? Of all of the cards I could have played, why did I do Tip of the Spear? Oh, wait, wait. Ah, because with my Javelin, I can step one and pull here and Tip of the Spear. Uh, he doesn't have any allies adjacent to him. So three, four. Attack for four with Pierce of three. He has Shield of four, so he takes three. Not, not bad. Heal two onto Snowflake. Um... Okay, so I want to set up this Chilling Impact. I probably want to set up Snowball as well. Maybe I don't, though, because Chilling Impact needs ice. And Snowball sets ice. Um, I want to keep everything that can push. Everything that can force movement. So maybe I'll get rid of Birds and a Tempest. I don't need movement. I don't need very much movement for this second room of this scenario. I need a lot of healing. So maybe I just Snowball right now. Um... Maybe first I'll kill this guy, right? So let's go lifting gusts with crosswinds. Push him here. And then crosswinds is four range. Yeah, pull an enemy within four range. So that'll deal six of the damage to him. And then I just need to deal one more. Geminate a long rest here. Um, does force movement count as an enemy moving? I would think it would, right? Because, like, forced movement, enemy moves. So if I just set up, set for the charge quickly, then when I pull him back in, he'll suffer two and die. Or is my thing... Fewer loot tokens. Okay, not three or more. Um, I think I've already failed Snowflake's goal of not walking through an ally. I believe I have. There's got to be, like, a pretty easy way to guarantee the kill. I'm just going to assume that set for the charge works like that. And then let's just meat grinder the snow dancer to get a heal on it. Um. Hmm. He's faster than me. Which is very annoying. Um. Because he's going to step here. And so now on the pull... Oh, wait, but I'm faster than him. So I will just step here and set up my top for the pull. When I pull something into me, it'll suffer too. And then I will just heal one regenerate onto Snowflake. And then he will go... Oh, he's disarmed. So it doesn't matter. He's disarmed, so he steps here and he... T Oops. He steps here and he takes two damage because I disarmed him after his turn last turn. Okay, totally cool. Then Snow Dancer will attack at disadvantage with Lifting Gusts. And it'll deal no damage, but I push one, two, three. And then I will pull him in, boom, with the bottom of Crosswinds. And then I've got move three, one, two, three. Is that three loot tokens? Um, Banner's goal is to collect less loot than the least loot but honestly i think i'm just gonna have banner step on the thing because i want banner to retire um geminate will heal two and then we need to pick what form to go into um let's go into melee form i think and find a card to lose drag down bottom is useful let maybe let's drop this feeding frenzy or Firefly Swarm, I don't see myself ever doing that attack and, like, hoping to get, like, one or two damage out, you know? Maybe if I have the Horn Beetle Carapace up, which I definitely need those plus twos in ranged form. Eh, it's a little bit late. I would like to have the Fire if I'm playing that. Maybe I could drop Selfless Offering instead. Let's do that. Let's drop Selfless Offering instead of Firefly Swarm. 
I've got a little bit of an idea for opening up this room. So let's go ahead and play the Horn Beetle Carapace and switch to ranged form. And that way I can play this Harvest the Essence. And this way I can get ice set more frequently um, for my Chilling Impact. So let's play Chilling Impact. Any useful bottoms? I think I want to save Snowball. Um, but like I would love to get a huge Snowball plus Whiteout out on a turn where there's ice so I consume it to make everybody suffer one on the movement and maybe I can have like two hazardous terrain tiles up um let's do snowball I'm getting ice out of the geminate right so I don't need it as much um ooh but I would love to I, if banner spear is going to step on here it's going to take three damage I would love to I can uh regroup myself after I step on it I don't have a, a non-loss move three though that's kind of funny so I'll just move closer. Okay, so Geminate sets up Horn Beetle Carapace and switches to um, switches to range form. Um, I I know from prior experience I want to be like on this bottom side of the map. So let's start moving that way. Um, Snow Dancer is going to set Chilling Impact to consume ice to make things suffer one on pulls and snowball to build up a lot of damage on a whiteout. Banner Spear is going to heal and then just move two and then I can grant allies move. Um, wish I had the loot shoes to loot the adjacent hex, but that's okay. On ranged form, I want this harvest the essence and then I probably just want to stay in ranged form, don't I? Or am I going to open the door this turn? I guess I dropped my move and switch forms, didn't I? So I'm going to need to open the door soon. Um, let's do Smoldering Hatred. That'll be a card that I don't need. Over here, I'll still be healing from the regenerate a bit. Let's keep Frigid Growth and just lose other cards. Uh, but I would love to keep a slow card to open the door with. Um... So Banner Spear regenerates, steps here, takes three, and then will heal two self-regenerate. Ah, I didn't get the Axe Nut. Dang. Not worth. Not worth. Um, Geminate is going to set up this Harvest the Essence to turn any element into any other element. Uh, and gets a ward. That might be useful. And then nothing with the bottom and then just nothing on Snowflake. Setting an element for Geminate to start juggling isn't a horrible idea, can I? It can with Frigid Growth, but I don't know if I want to do that. I should have done one of my heal cards. Okay, so Banner is just going to long rest here. Gem is in ranged form and has to stay in ranged form. Let's play these two cards. And then Snowflake, let's just heal at range 2. I think is fine. So, regenerate, heal 2, heal 3. And that's all. Um, meat Grinder's good. I, You know what, I'm going to drop Rallying Cry. I don't think I'm going to be doing enough attacks to really make the damage worth it. I think a lot of my damage is going to come from terrain. One, two, three, four. I guess I could just long rest both of these characters. Um, I would love to open this door, though. But if I just move one, two, three, four, I wish I had the um, move three perk on, on Banner Spear. Do I have all my perks? One, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so I don't have the... When you open a door, get an extra move 3. That would be really nice here, to move 4 and open the door. With, like, hold the line or something. Um, 
I should not have gone for this. This was a mistake. Let's just get up to the door and regroup again. Um, which means I'm just going to long rest gem, I think. Because I can lose a card and I don't really care. And I'll long rest snowflake. This way everybody will be ready to open the door. And I played regroup top, right? Yeah, so I can heal too. Um, both of these characters will heal to full. And then we'll just figure out cards to lose. What? Where did my other cards go? Wait. I'm so confused. Blinding Vortex. That feels like an easy card to drop. Um, uh, Mind Spike, I played the loss already. Draining pincers I want to keep to switch forms. Harvest the essence, I played the persistent. <laughs> so I just missed all of those. Locusos, I want to keep the push. I think Smoldering Hatred is the, the card to drop. Wow, so I've got like no ranged form cards left. Which means I can't ever play Firefly Swarm because I don't have a way to switch. Oh, I got this thing though. I got this thing so I can... Okay, so if I play Locust Host with Into My Embrace, I guess I can move in and play the loss. Well, I can move in and attack, and that'll switch me forms. And then when I switch back, I'll play a loss, discard a card to get back into my embrace. Ah, dang it. I completely screwed the pooch. Okay, I can never drop selfless offering as the first card that i lose <laughs> that's okay i don't expect geminate to be doing a lot here anyway um but let's go ahead and go in in melee form so that i have more options um maybe we can go late and position for a good for a good firefly swarm and then use that to get back like into my embrace and play yeah 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 so that'll be fine so this with maybe Hornet Stinger. Over here, we want to go in late and set Hazardous Terrain. And then let's hold the line and set for the charge. So hold the line loss will be move 3, shield 2, retaliate 3. Regenerate 1. So I take one step, and then the rules of the scenario will teleport us in. Um, open all doors, place all characters and character summons in initiative order in the closest empty hexes on the tile. Remove all doors from the map. Do not set up pillar A for two characters or pillar B for three characters. So we get pillar A, but not pillar B. Each pillar in this room is four plus level times character divided by two. So level times one and a half, which is six. So 10 health on the pillars in this room rather than nine. Um, not a very big change. So every character in initiative order gets placed in the new room. So banner, spear, it just says in the closest hex. So let's just put them in the new room like this. Old room gets removed. Um, I mean, I guess I could technically. Not that it matters too much. But now the old room has been removed. Um, and so I that was move one. I've got two move left. And I have retaliate. And I have this set for the charge up. So when anybody walks next to me, they'll suffer two. When they hit me, they'll suffer three. Um, and we've got move five out of the guards. So you love to see it. We are missing a good friend. So I guess he just didn't spawn. Um, so we don't need him. Ooh, he's elite in three player that is kind of gross um elites brittle with every attack um you can see an x-haven and they get an extra shield oh so this guy's gonna be insane um but he's not moving so he won't suffer on me can i move in far enough no i only have two moves so this priest isn't gonna be able to reach me with move two it would be nice if he could reach me and then have to suffer the damage but he won't that's okay um, so guard one will go right here. Sees banner spear because it was fastest. Um, let's see. Is he still in range of the shield? He is. So this guy has four shield right now. 
but he suffers two from moving next to me. He hits me for three into my shield two. I take one, um, which is fine. And then he'll take three. And then this guy will step here, suffer two, hit me. And I'll just go ahead and block this one. And then this guy... Does he suffer four? Oh, not me. Does he suffer four? Whenever an enemy moves or teleports from a hex not adjacent to you, to a hex adjacent to you, that is, they suffer two. So he only... He only does it once. Um, and then he hits me, and I take nothing. And he takes three retaliate. So 15 damage through the shield is fantastic. Then Snowdancer, then Geminate, then the Priests. So I can make more hazardous terrain. Um, do I want it right here? Um, I can move in first if I would like. But the move has a push associated with it. So maybe I'll place it right here. This will strengthen the Banner Spear. It'll also set ice. Um, and then I can move one, two, three. Um, this is with Blizzard bottom. Move three, push one for two. I think I'm okay with this. And now, Geminate. I don't remember what Geminate was doing. Hornet Stingers to poison these guys. And I'm they're in a perfect formation for Hornet Stingers. So yeah, let's do that. Here, here, here. Um, let's see. This guy is not in range of this shield. Neither is this guy. So these two have three shield. This guy has four. So attack for one, one, zero. Um, oh, but I have this. <laughs> so it's going to use like all my charges. Oh, man. That was really dumb okay so attack for two two one two four two uh either way this is a really good start to this room um that will switch my form and then i've got move three jump i think i like being right here to push this guy through the ice spikes then the ice speaker will stand still. Then this guy will move two. This guy will move one. Both trying to get to... Well, no, he's trying to get to Snow Dancer. He's trying to get to Banner. And then they get two blesses. So I'm in ranged form now. I can Locust Host into my Embrace. And that will switch me to Melee. That sounds quite good to me. Then I'll try to stay in Melee... I'll play one loss, which will get me a card back. I'll play one loss, which will get me a card back, and then I can switch into range, and then I'll finish the rest cycle in ranged and long rest, hopefully. Um, oh, dang, but I could have... I could have gone right here, and then I would be in a meat grinder. That... It would have been so much better to go here, be in a meat grinder, and then I do step one push. But that's not what I said. I'm not going to go back on it because I'm already in really good shape, right? So I don't, I don't need to be giving myself that extra free damage. I can step back here um, with Javelin, pull this guy in, and then resolve to courage him. I think that's best. Here, I'm going to push these guys down towards the hazardous terrain. So I'll have a guy here, here, here. So it would be amazing to get the Resolve Courage attack in afterwards, but it's going to happen before. Um, so what am I doing over here? I do have Snowball. Um, I would love to like push this Priest through. Like, come, come over here and push him with Lifting Gust. Um, one, two, three, Lifting Gust. That seems kind of idiotic, actually. Um, Bander Spear's going to be right here anyway, so I can't push him through. So let's just not worry about him. Let's just... Um, I don't have any of my move and push cards. Let's do Lifting Gust top with Enticing Breeze bottom to push and pull. 
Um, ooh, retaliate out of the guards. I love it. Um, one thing to consider here is moving Snowdancer before Geminate. And no, I was thinking Snowdancer before Geminate because I'm setting Wind with Lifting Gust, which means that my Harvest the Essence on Geminate could turn that Wind into Ice, but the Algox Ice Speaker is setting Ice for us just by moving. And he's moving four, um, so he will be able to hit Banner Spear with where I'm planning to go. But do I really care that much? I don't think I do. So Banner's first. I will step one and pull this guy with Javelin. And then I will attack him for three. Let's make it four, I think. Um, five, because he's poisoned. And then he's got one, two, three shield, but he's out of range of this guy. So it's attack for two, so I don't need to heavy sword. Let's not heavy sword or eagle eye goggles, because I kill with a zero. And I draw a plus one, so he dies. That finishes banner spear. Then these guys just set shield and retaliate. So Geminate will stand still. I can push all for two. So push this guy and this guy. Um, I cannot push this guy from here onto here, which would be nice. But do I want to push this guy one more? I do. I do want to push him one more. So I'll push him two like that. And then what top did I play? Oh, into my embrace. Um, okay, let's just attack him with Into My Embrace. He, down here, he only has two shield. So this is attack for four because of the poison, two because of the shield. And it will deal one, and then it will pull him in, and he will die. And I switch to melee because I attacked with Into My Embrace. Oh, and it also used a Horn Beetle Carapace. That should have been the last one because that's my fourth attack with it. Um, does that mean that I killed before the hazardous terrain? I don't think so. I think he had one health left. So I got almost nothing out of that Horn Beetle Carapace, but I guess that guy wouldn't have died that turn without it, right? Oh, he also had the shield of one from the, uh, from the shield retaliate. Okay, this guy just stays here. This guy just moves two, and they both heal this guy. So he gets his poison removed, and then he heals some, um... And now it's Flake. Um, so I did Lifting Gust, Enticing Breeze, not Crosswinds. So I can push this guy here and then pull him here. So I will eat the ice and I will attack him for one. And that'll use my first snowball. He'll get pushed here, which makes him suffer one. I will pull him with Enticing Breeze, which makes him suffer three. And then he suffers one because of the force movement. Um, Dang, I can't pull either of these guys because they would be in range. It's three, four, three is the range on Enticing Breeze. But I can't actually pull them any closer to Snow Dancer just because of the way things are standing. And then this guy will move one, two, three, four and attack for four. He only does two, and he stuns and brittles. Can you use armor while you're stunned? I don't know. Um, I could use the armor before I get stunned, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm not sure if I would be able to use the armor next turn while I'm brittled. Um, but I think I'm in good enough shape here that it doesn't really matter. Um, I would love to get more hazardous terrain out here, so I think I'm going to short rest. Not lose that. That's fine. So let's just place, like, a hazardous terrain tile right here. I would really like to get a big whiteout. Um, let's see. What can I do? Maybe I just go with white winds here to heal this brittle off of banner spear. That feels useful. And then set the hazardous terrain somewhere. Over here, I melee form. There is ice, so an icebound quills into this guard. I like it. Um, and then I'm just moving forward. I could play the loss on drag down. Um, 
If I play one loss, I can discard one of my cards to get back a ranged form card, but I'm not switching forms, so I wouldn't want to do that. I kind of like playing the loss of drag down. Oh, I could play two cards, but I'm brittled any or stunned anyway, so I might as well um, do this. Okay. Um, Snow Dancer first. I think I am not supposed to be regenerated at this point. I think I took wood damage from something. So let's um, heal Snow Dancer, set ice, and put a hazardous terrain right here to make these guys play with. Or do I probably want it grouped up with the other one, right? And then I just need to move over this way to push and pull. Um, so yeah, I'll just place it here. Honestly, like nobody's attacking. I almost kind of want to just move two instead of healing Banner Spear. I don't know if Banner Spear is really all that valuable anymore at this point. I'll just leave the Brittle on it. Because um, I don't think Banner Spear is even getting attacked here. I think... Um, I think this guy is going to be dead. So Geminate will move two. This The Ice Speaker already went. And he, he, yeah, he just heals to full. So... I don't need to disarm him this turn. The priests aren't attacking, so disarming them does nothing. So I'll just move two and use the loss on Icebound Quills. Um, so it's attack for five, six, with pierce two. This guy from here has three shield, so it's like an attack for five. Nothing to buff it up. It does four. So I don't kill, but he's just going to attack the Snow Dancer. Um, these guys first. This guy will just go here to get adjacent to Banner Spear. Oh, and then they heal. That's quite annoying. So I really wish I had picked up the kill on this guy. I just needed a plus one instead of a minus one. But I still don't think it's going to be the end of the world. Um, and then now an attack into Snowflake. And it'll deal three... And I dodge one of those blesses they put in, so thank you for that. I think I forgot to use a charge of that earlier, but... Or I forgot to re refresh it on my long rest. Um, but that's okay. And then now we long rest, which will heal two and remove the brittle. And do I have any formations here? I don't think so. Set for the charge is still good. Maybe I don't need regroup. Um, javelin isn't quite good. I don't have birds in a tempest anymore. If I did, then I could javelin over here and pull somebody for big damage. Um, meat grinder wood could be nice. Maybe snow dancer pulls in right here and I go for a meat grinder. Um, I like that. Go fast, enticing breeze. Um, and then next turn I go for Lifting Gust with Crosswinds to, like, push this guy through and pull him back. So then I just want to go right after that, which is 21. Um, but these initiatives don't work, so I would have to Boots. It's fine. And then I go at 38. Um, that's pretty good for me. He'll just make an Obstacle but he can't make it next to anybody. And then he sets ice for me, which will make me deal more damage. These guys will both step back. So here, and then just any other target in range three. So he would go here to hit this, this. And then this guy. Where does he even want to go? If he's right here, he could hit here, here. Um but he'll never get there. I guess he would just go here to remove the disadvantage on Banner. So first, the elite is definitely Banner Geminate. So attack for three, it does six. And then Gem. <laughs> it also does six, but I have the ward, so that was nice. Curses are annoying, but I think Snow Dancer at this point could just finish the rest of the level by herself. Um... And then just an attack for two into Banner, who will shield two, but get another curse. 
the guard will just retaliate. That's fine. Um, Snow Dancer does need to boots in order to underspeed the Banner Spear, which she does want to do. So I will use those. Um, I can eat the ice that the ice speaker set for me, which was very kind of him. Um, and Enticing Breeze. Um, I guess I can use either the top or the bottom, right? So let's use the bottom to go in this formation like this. So I will pull one. He suffers three and then one because I ate the ice. Pull one, he'll suffer one. Pull one, he'll suffer one. And then I'm set up for... Am I set up for white winds? No. Um, because I would go like, wait, why am I not seeing it right now? If I'm standing here, I could hit these three and then it would go like that. But if I'm standing here, it, it goes like this. So I would, I would hit here. Yeah. I would hit here, here. One, two, three, four, five, six are the spaces I would hit. So it's not quite laid out for me nicely. Um, that's just my bottom. Do I want to do anything with my top? I could hit a wide out. Um, let's see. I could attack for like two, two, two. So it would be three, four, five with my... I don't hate it. I would love to get one more hazardous terrain out before I do it. But let's just do it right now. So let's white out. It's attack for two. Um, power potion makes it attack for three with advantage. Attack for three with advantage. Everybody will step one, which will make them suffer one. Then three targets. So plus one, two, three. So attack for three. So it's four, five, six. Wait, four, five, four, five, six. So four, five, six will go here, 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 I think. Okay, that's fine. Make him step one and suffer one. And then, no, it, this guy next. So, attack for five. I guess he's got six shield, doesn't he? He does have six shield. But my attack for five crits for ten, so he'll take four damage. Then he'll be step right here to take one, two, three... And then he was forced to move, so he'll take one. And then now attack for six into this priest. Ah, dang. It'll actually deal nothing, because he has six shield. And so he'll take one, two, three, and then one. And that's a pretty decent loss. And I still get to do plus four onto the next attack I deal. Yeah, because I did one lifting gust, and I've done th I did three attacks with whiteout. Um, I will take it. That's a good turn. Um, one less damage. Oh, no. I missed this guy, but he does retaliate into me. But I'm fine with that. And... Oh, my other characters haven't even gone yet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so Banner Spear is next, and we'll meet Grinder. Um... So, yep, let's let's use all of this stuff. I'll heavy sword one of them. I don't know which one yet. So Meat Grinder will be attack for five with advantage. Let's heavy sword into the ice speaker. So attack for six. He's out of range of this shield now, so he's got five shields. So it's an attack for one, and it'll deal two. It'll deal two damage, and it will wound him. Then it's just attack for five into this priest. He does have all of the shields, so it's attack for negative one and it will deal no damage. A little underwhelming. Um, anything with my bottom? Javelin. Javelin with my bottom. So I can move one and pull, um, but I can't get anything amazing out of it. But maybe I will just um, pull... Yeah, there's really not anything super good out of the javelin. Let's just pull this guy out of the way, I think. 
And then finally, gem. Am I doing anything? Um, let's poison wound myself. Um, oh, I don't want to pull this guy away because I'll make him suffer with the bottom. Did I? I think I just did disarm myself. I don't think I was disarmed from anything. And then I'll Amulet of Life it off. Um, first we do the attack for four. I guess it goes into this guy. But it'll, like, never do anything. Four plus one for five, but he has six shield. So on Geminate's turn, this guy gets disarmed. And then I make all adjacents suffer one. And I loot one. Yeah, so they suffer first and then I loot. Um, I get three loot tokens. Ah, uh, there's the Axe Nut that Banner Spear wanted. Dang it. I should have known not to do that. Okay, well, I mean, now I'm just in absolutely amazing shape. Um, I don't see a world where I'm losing this. Lifting Gus Crosswinds, push this guy out, pull him in. Or maybe pull him in first, then push him out. Either way, it's like six damage. Oh, Geminate turned the leaf into ice. And so pull him in, push him out. He'll take six damage. He'll take two damage from the push and pull, and he dies. Um, maybe... Can I get anything with a boldening blow tip of the spear? Let's just go slow and see if we can figure out, and then a long rest. Um, only problem here is that Snow Dancer would be going really slow. So let's have Banner Spear just go fast and tank instead. I'm fine with that. Okay, so Banner Spear is first, and we'll just... Yeah, I can't get off a Boldening Blow. I'll just go here. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. Um, this guy will stay here because he's next to people already. This guy will just back up and attack for two and deal four. This guy will set shield and retaliate. Snowflake will pull this guy in. Eat, eat the ice, I guess. He suffers three and another one. Oh. But I don't really want to attack him with the lifting gust because it would use my last snowball charge. And it's an attack for five. Do I really want to use my attack for five into somebody who just dies to the push anyway? Um, so I guess I'll hold off onto it. It doesn't matter. Let's just do the attack. Oh, it would have drawn... The, the attack would have drawn the curse unless I had long rested anyway. So it's totally fine. And then I just push him, and he dies. And... Jim will just long rest. I have more cards in melee form, so let's... Um, I can just lose one ranged form card. Banner is not doing anything. I can back off and into my embrace. I can back off here and into my embrace this guy. He's only got um, one, two shield. So as long as I pull decently into my embrace, we'll kill. And then that'll switch me into melee form. So on my long rest, I switch to ranged here. I don't care. Flake. Don't need enticing breeze. <laughs> let's do, let's put another hazardous terrain tile out just for fun. Um, because why not, right? We can frigid growth with crosswinds, I think. Sounds good. Banner spear, let's get out of the way. Actually, hmm. One, two, three, four, going towards the chest. Um, and then I guess this guy's next, right? Dang. Oh, wait, wait. Geminate has boots. So yeah, that will work. I'll just move two and then attack with into my embrace, range four. I need a, a zero. That is not the kind of zero that I was talking about. 
Um, so he pulls one, two, and suffers six. And now he's in range to hit and Geminate's faster. So Geminate takes three. I did switch to melee there. Uh, I turn this into ice. Then Snow Dancer will eat the ice, set hazardous terrain right here, pull this guy through it. He'll suffer six, and then he'll suffer one because there's ice set. Um, and I set ice when I did the frigid growth. And then now I can move three. Not that it really matters. Um, yeah, it's fine. Then he'll step back one and shoot me for four. Uh, and I lose a card. Done. Oh, is there not a way for me to make this work? Yes, there is. I just move two, and I hit with Lifting Gust, and that'll kill him. Here, I'm in melee form. I can Hornet Stinger, but he's got four shields, so it's probably not doing anything. Um, I can just go late and Feeding Frenzy. Probably not. Um, go fast and Reckless Jab him, and hope I pick up the kill. And then here I will just pick up the chest. Pick up the chest. It has four loot cards, I believe. 71. Yep. But these will not count. Yeah, there's the Axe Nut, but it does not count as getting it from a loot card, I believe. Well, this says four loot cards, right? What does this say exactly? Personally collect five different types of urge through loot tokens, not to cards. Okay. And I, it was not tokens, it was cards. Fair enough. Fair enough for me trying to cheese the system. Ugh. Gem moves forward, poisoned wounds itself, attack for four into the guard, it'll kill. Thank you. Um, and then Dancer will just move here. Attack with Lifting Gust. So just move two, set ice, attack with Lifting Gust at disadvantage. It'll deal no damage. And then I push one, two. And he dies. And very easy level, but nice and fun. Nice and fun. And 42-4. One morale, one inspiration. I'll take that inspiration. I really want to... Um... Ah, I need four more scenarios in order to retire Banner Spear and get a double retirement. Um, and it was one morale, I believe. And that finishes everything there. Let's go to town. Nothing when time passes. Um, I don't think I've gotten attacked yet, have I? I haven't. This has been... Why don't I ever get this luck when I'm doing speedruns? Um, uh, option A, I think, is better. Um, one morale, one soldier, lose 10 gold. So I'm maxed out on soldiers. One morale will put me at 15 defense and 10 gold. I've got a ton here. Then I'll lose 8 gold, so down to 37 to get 1, 2, 1. Um. Oh man, I leveled up. You know what, I'm going to pause this and come back later um, to do the rest of it. Alright, so I checked the recording. I did not get my perk on either... Um, banner or snow dancer um but i did get it on geminate so let's grab that let's uh inc increase this to two 
required scenarios completed of my five. Um, let's see. So I level up on everybody. We're in downtime now. So let's look at Geminate's cards. Oops. And I will consider the level two card because I do think that this is really good. So Mandible Storm... Okay, so this is nice because you do the attack and then you muddle yourself. Um, so that's definitely a lot better than the other version where you you get muddled immediately. You get muddled before the attack on that range card. It seems pretty decent. I mean, this does have the same pattern as like a meat grinder, but there's no way I'm going to get any more than like maybe one enemy on each side. But still, a two-target attack three is pretty good. Or move three, shield three. It's nice. Um, ranged form, advantage and add pierce two to all your attacks this round. This would have been really, really nice in that last level. Um, and gaining advantage on all attacks, yeah, I, I have to take Dragonfly Surge. That seems just too good. Um, it also gives me another bottom to change forms, and I don't have to do anything. All I have to do to change forms is poison myself, which, like, I mean, you know, maybe you don't really want to poison yourself, but I guess I could go late and poison myself, and then this switches me into melee form, and then I'll be... Po oh, but I guess if you're poisoned already, then you don't get... You can't poison yourself. If you do not have poison, add poison, add plus two. Okay, so the amulet of life won't get rid of that poison. But still, I think that Dragonfly Surge here sounds really good. Um, adding, adding Pierce and and the advantage. This advantage I think is actually kind of huge because um, it'll make something like Firefly Swarm much easier to use, or or even just Smoldering Hatred. It'll make them much much easier to use because I really want this Amulet of Life so that I can go for reckless jabs. And so this way I don't have to worry about not having an eagle eye goggles. So I really, really like this bottom. And then this top seems really nice. Um, attack for just, I mean, an attack for six at range that can have advantage and wound just to pick something off. And I, I don't really have like all that many losses that I'm really playing. Um, the initiative sucks though. So what ranged options do I have? So okay, definitely not into my embrace, definitely not mind spike. I need those fast cards. Definitely not locust host. Um So harvest the essence firefly swarm and smoldering hatred. I still think that keeping firefly swarm makes sense. A late initiative move four is really good. Also pairing this lost top with the brand new gain advantage on all ranged attacks seems really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, duh. Smoldering Hatred, I think, also can pair really well with this card. I do get to grab a perk here, so I think I'm going to take this once each scenario don't gain a negative condition. Um, and this way, once per scenario, I can, I can do Smoldering Hatred and do not have to muddle myself. And the muddle on Smoldering Hatred is really awful because it lasts for two turns. Um... So that will be really, really nice. Let's see, the other options... Replace a minus one with a, any element to any element. That's just kind of boring. I, I don't think it's going to like happen that frequently. So yeah, these other options are boring. Let's, let's ignore a condition one time. Um, and so that means I want to keep Smoldering Hatred. I think I have to keep Selfless Offering just for the move three transform. I think that that part is just too important, which means Harvest the Essence goes, which I'm fine with. Let's see, let's look at Banner. Level six, we get Barricade or Bolstering Shout. So, I mean, we've seen we've seen how good Javelin is. And this card is so much better than Javelin, except for the initiative. So that is actually really unfortunate. Um, but I guess having Javelin at a late initiative really isn't bad. Um, and then the, the top is pretty interesting, too. Um, this would actually finally give me a good reason to have wind, a good, a good thing to use wind for. So this is just really good on both, on both sides. What about this one? 
Let's see, the bottom, negate the first source of damage to an adjacent ally each round. That is definitely very solid. It also gives me a 16 speed formation to play, um, or card bottom to play, like to set up for a formation, um, and a 16 speed formation on top. That gives shield one, which is very nice, and, and more wound, which is very, very nice. Um, I think just the value, though, that I have gotten on Javelin throughout the entire campaign means that I can't not take a better Javelin. Pulling, pulling two monsters in is, is so good. And, I mean, Barricade seems fun, but it would be really hard to be laying out Barricade without bringing a banner in. And that's just not been something I've been doing too much. I think I really like the bottom loss on Hold the Line. I think it's been really, really key for me in multiple scenarios. And so I almost feel like I, I prefer this bottom. Like, I mean, this bottom basically turns into, if you play it on the right turn, make all of the monsters do nothing and take three damage. And you still get to do a top, like set for the charge or something. Um, or like I think in the previous level I played, I got to do a meat grinder on the same turn I did hold the line. And I, I dealt like 20 damage in the, in the single round. So let's go for um, Bolstering Shout. And so then I could lose Javelin, but I think I want to keep Javelin to have a, a fast initiative pull. So maybe Regroup. Um, yeah, 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 let's lose Regroup because the top is like the same, but it's just way better. Um, I mean, it's not way better, but the, the increased range is really huge. Um, and then the small potential for Wind, do I have... Um, no, I don't have any perks that give wind. Um, that would be really nice. Do I want this open a door, add move three, or another plus one disarm? The plus one disarm has not been very useful. Um, I mean, adding a plus two also sounds kind of good. It looks like I don't get to thin out my deck anymore, which is kind of sad. Because it feels like I've got a lot of crud in here. Not really, just one minus one and one minus two. Um, I, can I replace zeros? I can only replace two zeros. So I guess that's like the thing that makes the Banner Spear deck feel a little bit bad. Is not being able to remove too many zeros. Let's do the open a door, add plus three to a move. And then, um, yeah, bolstering shout instead of regroup. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um... I'm really excited for this. I have no idea what these level 3 cards are. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Um, I, do, I am familiar with this card. Create two one-hex hazardous terrain tiles in adjacent featureless hexes. Up to three enemies occupying hazardous terrain suffer two. So you can place this under monsters, right? Because it, it, it would, yeah, if it's featureless and unoccupied, then it's empty. But if it's featureless, that just means no difficult terrain or traps or or obstacles or anything. So you can place hazardous terrain under monsters. It, they have to be adjacent to you. Um, and then up to three monsters suffer two. I mean, so you can just walk up to two monsters and make them suffer, suffer two each. It'll set ice and then, yeah, and... Then the bottom is just a heal. Like, this is just really, really good. What would the other one be? Designate a hex. Is this black hole? Within three, pull to target all enemies within range three of the designated hex. Pull towards the designated hex. So it's just black hole, um, but with no damage. And then the bottom is a loss attack for up to five on two targets in range three. That's pretty sick. Oh, wow. Those are both so good. But, I mean, we saw just how deadly hazardous terrain was in this previous scenario. I feel like I have to go for cold snap. Um, which means I want to keep all of the pushes that I can. Um, definitely want to keep white winds. I really like that formation. Enticing breeze is amazing. Maybe I would drop blizzard. Um, but if I'm creating even more... Um, Oh, let's let's drop uh, Chilling Impact. I really didn't feel like Chilling Impact had all too chilling of an impact. 
Um, so I don't know if that's a card I'm going to bring again. Move two, push two all adjacents is is pretty good. Um, but the move three on Blizzard is a little bit better. It, it lets me like get around an enemy to push it from the backside, right? So that feels better there. Um, I don't get the check mark. You know, I need to... <clears throat> I don't think there's any way I... No, I definitely did not get this mastery. But this is something I need to look out for. I actually am not even sure what exactly these are in first ensure the first ally to suffer damage each round directly before suffering damage has at least one con one condition you applied that doesn't make like any sense to me so you have to give your ally i mean i guess bless wouldn't count directly before suffering the damage so they have to you have to either ward or regenerate them the first ally to suffer damage every round. I just don't understand how that's possible. When you start with one regenerate. And you don't start with any way to give ward. I I don't I don't see how this is possible. I think I'm gonna drop blinding vortex for cold therapy. I don't know. I like this I, I can't bring like too many loss attacks. I think Blizzard is really mostly just for the late move three. Um The Blinding Vortex attack is definitely better than Blizzard. Also they synergize pretty nicely if I want to play Blizzard and then Binding Vortex, but I think I'm going for more of a hazardous terrain thing. And then like finishing a scenario with a snowball plus white winds combo. Um so I'll drop Blinding Vortex, I think. Um, I really don't know how this mastery is, is possible. Zephyr Barrier definitely looks like it makes it easier. You get to ward two allies. Um, gosh, grant an ally, move three, attack eight. That's kind of crazy. And immobilize everybody in hazardous terrain. That's really good. All right, um, add two plus one set either elements, replace a minus one with a zero, heal one any ally. Whenever you long rest create an element, replace a zero with a plus one strength and an ally. Oh, here we go. So this is another way to ward an ally, heal and ward target an ally rolling. At the start of each scenario, all enemies gain muddle. Whenever you short rest, consume elements to regenerate and ward allies. Hmm. I kind of like replace two zeros with if it forces them to move, make them suffer damage. It's not amazing but <clears throat> let's just grab that. It's it's one of the most fun ones, right? So take out just two zeros. And then I think I'll just grab that one again <clears throat> for the next one. Um, I really don't have too many... I don't have very many attacks that cause things to move, do I? I've got Lifting Gust and Enticing Breeze. And those are the only ones. Oh, I guess Whiteout would cause them to move too, right? And White Winds if I've got Wind. So there are a, a few things that it would proc off of. It's fine. We'll just take it like that. And I guess that finishes leveling up. Um, I do have additional potion slots available. So, no herbs here. Rock root, arrowvine corpse cap, and snow thistle. Oops. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. This was not supposed to be in that pile, it was supposed to be there. <clears throat> okay, so everything but arrowvine and flame fruit. And then I've got arrowvine here. And I've got a flame fruit here. I feel like this flame fruit was supposed to be used. Maybe not. Okay, so what I want to do is use this flame fruit and 
this corpse cap to make should be right here a holy water and i'm gonna give this to snowflake um <clears throat> because now that i have this eagle eye goggle now when i go for a big white wins with snowball combo or white out with snowball combo um now i can pop the holy water right before i do it and i've got eagle eye goggles so if i'm hitting four targets and i'm pulling eight modifiers i have a good shot of drawing this holy water uh, which i think sounds like a lot of fun stamina potion would also be really good to get even more hazardous terrain out on the map um with these two cards that would probably be better that would probably add more damage throughout the course of a scenario than the holy water but i didn't get it to work on drifter so i want it to work on snowflake um then what do i want on geminate stamina potion definitely 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 was a very good call um i want something that can be more offensive what what options do i have i have everything except for flame fruit so what is this cure potion uh warding the the defensive warding potion i'm not sure what this is flame vial that's not very good the fire shield potion yeah so i i wouldn't have wanted one of those anyway um power potion i could do power potion for geminate um especially with like horn beetle carapace plus plus dragonfly surge to give advantage plus firefly swarm plus fire um that's not very realistic but if throw a power potion onto it and get a three target attack for um what is that seven with advantage that would definitely be a really good turn other options healing potion stamina potion what do we have this is renewing potion this would be glancing oh glancing could be good because i do add curses to myself so a glancing potion would be really nice um snow thistle axe nut that's going to be explosive potion and then corpse cap axe nut is frenzy this is poison snow thistle corpse cap and then what's this the, oh that's the stone skin yeah oh that's cure this is mana potion element potion actually wouldn't be horrible but i don't have flame fruit um i think i'm gonna do the the uh the glancing potion that sounds really good so rock root axe nut where is it there it is so rock root axe nut happy with that um and i can still get one more on banner spear so one more potion <clears throat> i could do frenzy potion muscle potion stamina potion i guess stamina potion would be pretty good because if i'm ever in a good formation then i just stamina potion to get it back um oh stamina potion only works on a level one card doesn't it uh i hadn't thought about that i think i got that wrong in this last scenario i think i used it to get back this level two card not the biggest deal or maybe i got back into my embrace <clears throat> It was one of the two. I think it was the push potion, though. Um, so I wouldn't be able to get back Meat Grinder, which I think would be the card that I would want the most with it. So maybe not Stamina Potion. Let's see. What's, what stands out to me? I'm, honestly, I wouldn't hate going for a Holy Water again, um, given that I have those rolling plus ones. There's just always that Hopium of uh rolling plus one into crit into bless um frenzy potion would be okay maybe explosive potion would be good uh that would be this one stamina healing i've already got the healing potion renewing potion would not be bad to get armors back that would definitely be a, a very good defensive option of like ooh, i took a lot of damage let's get my armor back 
But do I want defense or offense, really? Um, so let's get the, um, the renewing potion, I think. Oh, wait, do I have a rock root still, though? I might have eaten my only rock root. Oh, no, I've got it. It was the um, renewing this one, Rock Root Snow Thistle. All right, and now just build a building. Is there anything exciting? I don't think so. I'm not Prosperity 4 yet. Kind of close, though. Um, <clears throat> I guess I could get the Carpenter, um, and I could get either of these. Um, I am a little low on wood. I already got that. Let's do the the logging camp, I think. So six, two, three. I don't know what you get. Okay, you don't get anything. Six, <clears throat> three, and two in the middle. There we go. <clears throat> All right. That is done. I think I got everything settled out. I'll figure out what scenario I want to do next. The derelict elevator... <clears throat> I would kind of like to retire Banner Spear. I would also kind of like to get up to 15 Inspiration before I do. But I don't know. I mean, I've not been getting luck with looting those herbs. Um, Frozen Fjord has Flame Fruit, so maybe I should go back there. Um, I have a very different party composition now, so it would be interesting. I guess there's a lot of flying enemies, though, so it wouldn't be good for Snow Dancer. Um, derelict elevator, ancient spire. Ancient spire has flame fruit, rock root. Derelict elevator has rock root. Um, crystal fields, I don't know what it has. I mean, it's say it's aerovine. Yeah, Aerovine, Corpse Cap, and Snow Thistle, which are the three that I already have, so definitely not that level. Um, maybe I should try the Ice Cave. Oh, I unlocked this one. Let's play this one. I've never played this level before. Um, I'm not doing it right now, but I just want to see what herbs it has. Um, oh, it just has Rock Root. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, GG.